Y'all, we halfway through the Falcon and the Winter Soldier episode 3 premiere tonight, and let's break it all the way down. So we knew that this was going to happen. Falcon and Winter Soldier go to see Zemo. They are up against a rock and a hard place. Don't know where else to turn. They're trying to figure out how in the world do we have eight super soldiers running around right now? Like, how are they utilizing the serum? How did they recreate the program? What is happening? And Zemo is the number one person to be able to go to to get some type of answers. Y'all, I'm loving the back and forth banter between Sam and Bucky in this episode, or at least at the beginning of the episode, because they're partners. They're partners. And even though they don't want to be, even though they are so antagonistic towards each other the first two episodes, and they're kind of fighting, you know, know partnering up to figure this out they have really fallen into a flow at the beginning of this episode and child Bucky gets on board with the plan to break Zemo out of jail and when he is talking about the plan like let me tell you about this hypothetical walks through the entire plan act as it actually happens and Zemo literally walks into the room right when he finally gets to the end of his hypothetical and that sends sam into a tailspin like no you're going back to jail and just watching them interact i totally enjoyed that y'all after a little bit more banter and back and forth it's clear that they don't have any other options they don't have any other leads and sam gets on board and it's like all right as long as you don't make a move without us you listen to everything that we got to say we gonna do this where do we start and that is what really sparks off this entire episode let's get into it zemo of course leads them to the right place gets them in the right country and the right building but things go awry as they tend to do with these two and it is sharon carter who pops up and helps to save their lives after they kill a big boss and have a bounty place on their head pretty much immediately things move very very quickly in this scene i'm excited to actually see sharon again we get a little bit of a backstory into what has been happening with her ever since the blip ever since the end of the missions as she knew it she's been hiding out here she has yet to be pardoned or excused by the u.s so she hasn't been able to return home to her family and her friends no one knows that she's okay sam makes a deal with her that if she helps them get to the bottom or find out where they're producing the super serum that he will make sure the u.s pardons her even that conversation was so interesting to hear because they literally talk about the hypocrisy of the u.s government the hypocrisy of the idea around heroes and really being able to call to task like it's not all that it's cracked up to be as you can see like look at how we've been treated after saving the world saving the country time and time again and I love that they are using this as an ongoing conversation within this series, especially given the fact that we do have the new Captain America that they have already helmed or placed on this pedestal and we really get to have a conversation around do we need a figurehead? Do we need the symbol of peace and well not necessarily peace but do we need this symbol of protection do we need these heroes did we need the avengers i mean they don't go into that but that's where i'm going and listening to them talk about it sharon ultimately is the perfect person for them to run into because she's having a party she deals in i guess authentic luxury rare items and she is actually putting on a party in which people who will have information on the super soldier program or the serum being recreated uh, will be there and they get the answers that they need find the actual scientist who has been recreating it but they don't get as many answers as they possibly could before Zemo puts a bullet in his head before they do though we find out that this scientist actually did work with hydra and was able to isolate the super soldier serum from the blood of either captain america or bucky they, he did not reveal which person the blood came from they he, all he said it was from a viable candidate who had the serum in their blood and we only know about captain america or the Winter Soldier. Oh, well, actually, now Isaiah. They might have also been able to isolate it from the blood of Isaiah. And I will be making a video going into a little bit more backstory into Isaiah, the first black super soldier that we didn't learn about until this series. So stay tuned for that. 
make sure that you're subscribed so that you don't miss when i post that video and y'all know they're going to give us an action sequence aside from the one that they had at the bar i think the, the best one is when they're breaking out after killing the scientists who remanufactured the super soldier serum and for a moment i was very concerned when zemo put that mask on y'all i was like oh lord he turned against them oh great now it's about to be some problems but he comes through and helps them sharon decides to not continue on with them she got something else going on and now sis got me looking at her a little side eye too everybody got their own agendas happening it's just it's very interesting to see all of these things working around them we do get to see fake captain america for a second in the episode he's basically a little bit behind sam and bucky he goes to the prison realizes that zemo has broken out he puts two and two together like oh they broke him out and now they're on the hunt for them and i think honestly what we're seeing with that is that they're really just trying to set fake captain america yeah i've decided i'm going to keep calling him fake captain america and y'all gonna deal with it because I don't like them but whatever they are going to keep laying the groundwork for fake captain america to go rogue we get a little bit in the episode where he says do you think that they're really going to care how we get it done as long as we get it done and we know by the comics that he is actually going to turn heel or he is going to become an antagonist for sure and be against sam and bucky so i think that that this just starts to continue to lay the groundwork for that and now he is pursuing them trying to catch up with them because of course they are ahead in reference to the search for carly as well as the search for the getting to the bottom of what's going on with the super serum and all these new super soldiers another tip that sam gets leads them to the baltic sea and that's where the episode leads off and only 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 bucky could be able to pick up on this he takes a moment says oh i'm gonna go for a walk and we start to see him pick up these little beads and they're the same beads that the wakandans use for various things and i didn't register what it was until we actually see a wakandan soldier someone from the door melage pops up before the episode cuts off and they're like or oh, i'm here for zemo and y'all y'all now i'm stressed things are going to get very very real there's definitely repercussions for zemo getting broken out of prison he did a lot of bad stuff he compromised a lot as we heard in the episode he's responsible for the killing of king t'chaka we saw that in captain america civil war and we should have known that it would not be as easy as him being able to walk out of prison and just be okay so in addition to them being on a mission to find the super serum to find the super soldiers to fight carly to capture Carly now they're going to have to contend with the people coming after them to either kill or re uh imprison Zemo and then Captain America or fake Captain America is on their tails too because he thinks that this is his mission of course because America's like you got to go figure this out and now I think he's starting to to take it personal and he has his own little vendetta and looking for them so there's so many working moving pieces y'all and we're going to get further into the story in the next episode but now it is your turn tell me what you think is going to happen next what are we going to see in episode four do you think we're going to get another fight sequence and actually see carly and the super soldiers go up against bucky and sam in the next episode last episode was so interesting to see them do that action sequence and they got their behinds handed to them by those super soldiers y'all but i want to know what you think in the comment section down below if you're new here, don't forget to like this video and join the tribe by hitting subscribe. I'm Erica Vane and I post new videos every single day. I'm covering some of the hottest television shows on TV and streaming. Not just Falcon and the Winter Soldier, but I'm also covering All American. I'm covering Snowfall. I'm covering Queen Sugar. I'm covering Grownish. And we're talking about it all. We have the best community on the internet talking about television, movies, and entertainment. And you should definitely join us. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.